Mr. Serge Berger here. The S&P 500 is up about 6.3, 6.4% for 2017 thus uh, far. And I wanted to uh, take a look at something here that I like to reiterate to my Clubhouse members on a daily basis and something that I think is important for the public as well to know. And it really starts with an understanding of, you know, so-called sector and group rotation. If you look at the S&P 500 chart here, you can see uh, very clearly where the latest rally started here, basically right after the election coming uh, into the early part of November. And then we had a bit of a pause and then we basically continued that coming into uh, the first parts of February of this year. Now, uh, along the way, we've had a series of, of a rolling set of leaders. So one sector, you know, would lead, then it would give up leadership to someone else, another sector and another group and so on and so forth. And along the way, we've, we've, we've really seen a pretty good, a pretty good mix, but it's gotten quite choppy again over the past, oh, let's call it week and a half or so. And even though, even though primarily the trend continues to be higher from the lower left to the upper right. Um, and we don't want to fight that until we see bearish reversals. Uh, it's also important to understand but that we are entering or have entered, like I said, a bit of a more choppy period. And the choppy periods are important to respect because they, they, they call for patience. So if you look at just this little time period here that I'm highlighting on the chart right now in the blue box, this is basically mid-February of 2016 all the way into, oh, let's call it early February 2017. That's you know, almost three months of basically sideways chop in the S&P 500. And within that period, there was very little, very little in terms of groups and sectors that moved either materially directionally higher or lower. So it was, for me, a time to be patient. And uh, while we're nowhere near, uh, you know, an extensive period of sideways chop right now, like we were back then, I do sense there's more of that happening. Now, there is one sector, one specific sector, one group of stocks, that is looking a little bit more promising, both in absolute and relative terms. And we're talking about the uh, healthcare sector. Now, the healthcare sector, in my opinion, is uh, notably stretched here in the near term, but it continues to hold up. We're continuing to see every little dip get bought. So this is one opportunity in the market that I continue to look at closely. Now, I know there's potentially some issues here uh, from a political perspective where there could be a lot of uh, headwinds. But if you look at uh, the healthcare space and it, particularly the biotechnology stocks, which continue to hold up. Um, it definitely is something that I think is worth uh, to, to respect. If you look at the weekly chart here, just real quick, we can see from a multi-year perspective, we are uh, right at a key point of resistance, right at the upper end of, of what has been a very uh, choppy yet wide sideways trading range and also coming into that blue line, which is the 100 week, 100 week, moving averages. So biotech and healthcare continue to hold up here. There's plenty of stocks within that space, such as AET that are worthy of looking at here. Uh, but again, just keep in mind that the stock market primarily uh, moves higher through a series of, of waves within bigger waves, i.e., you know, little rotations in groups and, 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 and industries that push uh, the uh, index uh, higher or lower over time. So that's it, guys. Hope it makes sense. I'll see you next time.